Baby, Megan McCain goes off on a blogger. I love the views audience. Hi, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload. I'd also appreciate it if you guys hit me up on my Twitter page. Appreciate your support. Tweet me on Twitter, retweet, heart, follow, try and get that 100 followers. I really appreciate it. So, when I saw her tweet this yesterday on Twitter, I thought she was talking about me because literally, as soon as I posted the video on my Twitter page, her tweet came out. So, the title of the blog says The View Set Return Date. Fans excited for comeback, but not excited for Megan. And then it writes Megan McCain is controversial co host on The View. The Republican pundit is never afraid to give her opinion on the ABC talk show, knowing that she will most likely not fall on the popular side. It's the dynamic that the show was founded on that keeps viewers coming back. However, McCain is extremely polarizing, and despite many fans excited for the season 24 premiere, they are not thrilled to see her return. So, the post I saw was on her Twitter page, and... You know, she writes, I really, she, she actually commented on it twice for her not even caring about garbage. I don't really normally comment on garbage written, but this is an entire example why our culture is so deeply toxic for women. No man would ever have this kind of a headline written. Do better, be better, lift women up instead of tearing strong ones down. And I love the views, the show's audience. And then she went on Twitter, dog, and she wrote a whole rampage about the situation. A whole rampage about the situation. So she continues and says, No man would ever have this kind of headline written whose co host the number one talk show in America that just won an Emmy for best show. Do better, be better, lift women up instead of tearing strong ones down. We are punished for being tough, opinionated, and not and not backing down. We are we want to know why we still don't have a woman president, although it's well past time because we raise women to be strong, independent, smart, empowered, and speak their mind, and then turn around and viciously punish them once they do. And they subsequently proceed to demand they be more likable, warm, softer, smile more, be non-threatening, blah, blah, blah. Well, F that. This is not about me, but about the woman coming up in this industry after me. We should be further along than this. We should celebrate women with differences of opinion and guts and, and grit. And instead, I'm supposed to feel embarrassment. Well, I don't, and I love the show's audience who have been, always been very kind to me, which is a lie. <laughs> Even when they disagree with my politics. I know what kind of life and career I could have if I just smiled like Abby Huntsman. Pretty much D never tackle anything controversial and stuck to safe and non threatening topics. I could never, it would bore me. I would be unfulfilled. I'm just not that kind of woman, and it's quite frankly not the kind of woman my mother and grandmother, who are both true powerhouses, set the example of who I wanted to become. I think women of all sides and political persuasions need to be speaking louder and using their voices more, not less. There's so many more cracks in the ceiling. Women are. Ode and four one. I'm sick of us not being where I thought we would be in the year 2020. I know this is a soapbox rant, but forgive me. The world is on fire, and I am eight months pregnant. And like most Americans, I'm heartbroken at the state of our country on all levels, including the absolutely unrel unrelenting toxicity aimed towards women in the media and politics, with no other agenda other than to tear them down. Also, I'll see you back on the show on the eighth. So we now know she's eight months pregnant, and this post is typically about her. It's always about her. Um, I disagree when she says it's not about me. It's about other women coming after her. And the views audience continuously boos you all the time, and you have disrespected the audience on many occasions, telling them not to clap and just being loud and rude and showing these weird facial expressions towards them. And it's really not about her views that that I care about. I actually want to hear her views. And I feel like, you know, I'm in my heart, I am a conservative uh, more than I am a Democrat if I want to label my politics. But, you know, at least with Ann Coulter, you know, she comes out with these percentages and facts and she's and she lays a stance on her debate, even when she goes on a talk show and disagree with her. And Megan, there's not a panel on the view that is filled with men. Unfortunately, talk shows are with a panel are usually with women because there's just more 
women are more, I guess, statistically, you know, the traditionalists to stay home, take care of the kids. So, you know, women want to entertain themselves. But I hope in due time we do change the format where we can have a mixed a gender show with women and men or even have a men's show and hear from a men perspective hopefully someone will be smart to create that and invite quote-unquote me on that show so we can talk about politics we can talk about entertainment we could, we could talk about things i do think this this post is about her i don't think she's well she is hormonal but this is just her typical you know aptitude towards you know saying hey i need attention but anyways <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please do subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload deuces. Yeah.